especially as we head into those summer months. We are always also keeping an eye on our back seat for children as heat related illness and children can rise the hotter the months get as we go into summer. Now joining me from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration is James Owen and James, I know a lot of times that we think about, well, this can't happen to me, but for some moms, for some grandparents out there, it can happen to children of all ages and at any time of day. Absolutely. This is a this is an issue we want to raise a lot of public awareness on. Um, we've lost more than 850 children since 1998 in our country to pediatric vehicular hyperthermia, or hot cars, uh, child heat stroke, uh, and the majority, 55% of those incidences incidences happened when a parent or caregiver accidentally left their child behind in a vehicle. And I can understand, uh, as a parent of uh, a father of two young children myself, I can understand the sentiment that uh, to expect that, well, one could never possibly forget one's child in the back seat. But unfortunately, this facts show it does happen and far too frequently. So we want to remind everybody, we want to raise public awareness to, to remind everybody to park, look, then lock. Park your car, look in the back seat, then lock your car. And something else we'd like to remind everybody, too, is that the risk of of uh, child heat stroke doesn't just exist when you're potentially driving a child, but because uh, since 1998, about a quarter of the uh, fatalities that we've seen occurred when a child accessed a car on their own and became trapped. So even if you're not a parent, even if you don't have a child, when you park your car at the store or at your office or in your driveway, lock your car because nobody would, would want a child to access the vehicle with potentially tragic consequences. You know, James, one of the things that we think about is sometimes, oh, I'm in a shaded place or a parking garage, or if I crack the window and run in that my child will be safe, but that's not necessarily true. That is a great question. That's a great point. It is not true. So even in a shady day, the interior of a vehicle can become very hot very quickly, as much as a 20 degree increase in just 10 minutes in the shade. And a child's body is less able to regulate its internal temperature than an adult. So that heat rise, that rise in temperature can be potentially fatal to children. And the younger the child, the greater the risk. One third of the children we've lost to this tragedy we're under one year, one year old. So that tells you that it's a, it's a, it's a terrible thing. And, and, and you, so when you, when you park your car, if you're just popping into the store for a minute, just bring your, your child with you. James, another thing I think sometimes that we forget is how easily kids can be susceptible to heat related illnesses. So it's not necessarily that it could result in death, but there's other things that could happen to your child in such a short period of time in extreme heat. Absolutely. Children, uh, you know, children can suffer a number of health consequences from this. And one thing that's important for everybody to know is that this we've experienced a fatality from child heat stroke in just about every state of the union. And we've had a fatality in every month of the year across time. So this isn't just a, a summer issue. This isn't just a sunbelt issue. This could happen anywhere. And another question for you, James. I know a lot of parents are watching out there, and again, we all do our best to be good parents to remember the kids in the back seat, but there are some techniques or some things that you can do to help remind yourself that you have a child in the back seat if you don't have a mechanism in your car to alert you if there's still somebody back there. Absolutely, and, and uh, people, of course, will have their own mnemonics for, for this, but we want to remind everybody to park, look, then lock. But uh, if, if it helps, if you carry a bag, if you carry a computer or, or uh, some other equipment that you take with you normally, put that in the back seat by your child's seat so that when you, uh, when you would get out of your car and you normally would reach and grab your bag, you are automatically looking in your back seat and it'll remind you if a child is back there. Well, we really appreciate all this information. And as always here on Weather Nation, we will be keeping a close eye on the forecast for you. Thank you so much, James Owens from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. You can also get more information at any time of day on our website, weathernationtv.com.